In this week's Marketing Minute, we're going to have a look at the top six things that we find when we're looking at people's websites, why they are a problem. So these top six problems we find across most websites. Now, first and most obvious one is that the websites are slow to load. Now, this generally is an indicator that you've either got a heavy site, too much code, bloated plugins that are being used on WordPress. This all comes to together and makes a really heavy site it's slow to load on desktop and even worse on mobile, leaving your users with a bad experience before they've even seen your content. You have less than two seconds to get that content in front of them. They don't see it within two seconds, they're gone. And ideally, you want them to see it in about one because if they haven't seen it within a second again they're leaving your site now once the site's loaded the next thing is there is often no clear call to action above the fold now above the fold is everything on the first screen that they see so your header or hero section of your page needs to tell people what you want them to do whether that's go to this other section of the site or sign up for something or buy something that call to action needs to be there next as you go through a site we find a lot of problems with inconsistencies of fonts whether that's size weight style the layout of the way they use the fonts we recommend using no more than two fonts one for heading one for body copy keep the weights consistent and use color within your text sparingly by doing this it improves accessibility to your users and decreases the issue with the way the site will look it creates a nice clean site something that's easy to access, easy to use, and people will actually find what they want quickly and they won't reduce the potential for people to leave. We saw this with a site that we looked at a little while ago. They had a very high bounce rate and they were using a very difficult to read font color. We then changed that and made it very simple. We still use the color for the headings, but we, the body copy was then put into a neutral color. Their bounce rate dropped by 30%. The next thing that we find is poor quality writing and poor quality images. So both humans and Google like spelling, grammar and sentence structure to be correct. If these aren't correct, humans find it difficult to read and Google will actually score you down for this. It is a technical element of your SEO. With images, low resolution images and small images don't render well on websites and you'll see issues with the image when you look at them. Now, obviously we want to make images lightweight so that they load fast but at the same time, we want them to be clean, clear and crisp so that they're actually enjoyable and easy for the viewer to see. The next thing we find with a lot of sites is that the SEO strategy is either not there or very sparse. Technical elements missing. At best, you, we find that it'll have a generic title across every page. Now, that's no good because Google uses that title to help catalog the pages. With no description of the page, it defaults to try and use the body copy of the page. Now, the body copy of the page isn't right either that page is not going to be found for anything of use. So making sure that the technical elements are done right, that there is a clearly defined structure to your SEO and there is a clearly defined strategy. These are really important things to make sure that you are found organically. Not today, maybe, because it takes time, but in three months, six months, 12 months and ongoing, you need to have these put in place early in the process of building your site rather than doing it as an afterthought because otherwise you're there in fighting an uphill battle. And finally, final things that we find on a lot of sites is there's no social proof. Testimonials are hugely powerful. People trust people. So seeing a testimonial about how good the service was, that's going to win people over more. If you're featured in the press, mention that. Talk about where you've been talked about. If you've been talked about in the Daily Mail, the Sun, the Telegraph, Digital Spy, Yahoo News, Euronews, smallbusiness.co.uk, any of these things and more, people buy into social proof. Your business credentials. So if you have to be a certified provider, for Google partnerships, Facebook partnerships. We are a MailChimp partner or we've got certified team members within for HubSpot or anywhere that there's some sort of certification. It adds a level of credibility because you've done those things. You've gone through the training. You've reached a specific standard that you have to reach to be able to be part of that. Away from testimonials, you also have reviews. So more detailed reviews. That could be a video review of your product. Somebody talking about the ins and outs of your product or your service. You have expert approval. So if you have a governing body that you have to subscribe to, get that stamp 
upon your site as well. And there's more to it than that. These are just some of the things that we find with websites. When we start working with people, we go in and we actually audit a site to make sure that it's right. Because if we don't audit at the beginning, we don't know where we're going to take you and we don't know how to help you because otherwise we're going in blind. If anything in today's marketing minute has been particularly helpful to you or you want to talk about it more, you know how to get hold of us or you can visit our website or visit the new site, which is focused on helping small businesses get more out of their marketing without having to spend an absolute fortune. Go there, it's www.getyourownmarketingteam.com. Thank you.